Hello world, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we're going to be going through the buffer overflow zero challenge. Let's get into it. This is a binary exploitation challenge and it is worth 100 points. Smash the stack. Let's start off simple. Can you overflow the correct buffer? The program is available here. You can view the source here and connect to it using this. So why don't we go ahead and connect to it and see what we're dealing with. And it's just asking for input. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, that was okay. So pretty straightforward. We need to overflow this stack. So let's go ahead and go take a look at our source code. And normally I would just start spamming A's to try to get a seg fault or something, but <laughs> that actually solves the challenge. So let's take a look at the file first before we actually go and spam A's. So if we take a look at the code, right? Okay, here's our flag, right? And that's what it's gonna be. Okay, if we get a segmentation fault, it'll print out the flag. Nice. So we just need to literally smash the stack with a bunch of whatever, right? It doesn't matter what character we use as long as we smash it. And if we come down here, we'll see the vulnerable function is gets. Now we could figure out exactly just how many A's we need to smash the stack, but as long as we get a seg fault, it doesn't matter. So we'll just spam a bunch of A's and <laughs> there's our flag. So recapping, this is a sig sev handler. So if it detects a segmentation fault of some kind, right, it's gonna send that signal out and it's gonna print the flag for us as part of the error output, quote unquote, right? Cause that's what it's doing is it's handling. So it actually, instead of even printing out the segmentation fault error, like it would by default, the typical sig sev signal is being passed an optional, I think it's optional anyways, error handling message right here. And then this is where it actually gets the flag. So it'll get the flag from a file. And when the signals handler gets hit, you know, with that segmentation fault, that would be normal for a buffer overflow. That's a normal thing that you see is seg literally segmentation fault being printed out. Then it's going to come to the handler and it's going to print our flag, okay? So hopefully that wasn't too confusing of an explanation, but basically we just pretty much overflowed it beyond its ability to handle the input and it segment faulted and gave us the flag. And that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.